Hello everyone and welcome back. As of recently, there has been a large uptick of users talking about Barry Bloodline usage and builds and a lot of this is coming from the recent cross battle build video he did. Within this video, a user showed off just how well perfected the weapon is when used outside of his area of expertise which got me looking into the more builds based around it. Anyway, long story made short, there is not much builds available so I am going to show you a build that is actually quite slept on. The Renewal Glass and Berry Bloodline combo is a combo that fixes Renewal and Stasis overall issue when it comes down to end game. And with this combination now in show, you can have a fast regening and high damage resistance build that only requires just these two items in hand. If you ever use Renewals back in your old day and miss a feel of using them, then now is the time to try them out again. So start with Subclass, you want to have Touch of Winter, where your dust field grenades have increased slow field sights and create a small stasis crystal upon use. Then you want Grim Harvest where defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards which also grants many energy. The following aspect provided will grant extra uptime for our stasis abilities once in effect and also grant us near unlimited shards that benefits our mini overall. Dust fields combined with renewals will provide a 25% damage reduction towards us and our team but also penalizing enemies with a 50% damage reduction if within its radius. With the combination of Devour, this will make our character as tanky as a Stasis Titan user, or Strand Titan user. For Fragments, we have Whisper of Durance, where slow from your abilities last longer. Whispers of Shards, where shattering a Stasis Crystal will boost your grenade recharge rate by 500% for 6 seconds. Whispers of Fissures, which increases the damage and size of crystals or frozen targets. Whisper Conduction, where nearby stasis shards track to you, and Whisper of Rhyme, where collecting shards will grant you a small amount of overshield. shield. With how strong stasis hunters already are with their flexibility of skills, you will get the best of the best when choosing them over Titans and Warlocks. The total coverage of providing damage reduction, healing, debuffing and grenade regen is everything this build will get once in action. And it's honestly such an easy to master build that the stats section can be flexible in terms of numbers and mods used with easy backing. For the mods and stats, we're going to invest into resilience and discipline as the main stats overall. With resilience, we have ours at tier 10 for a 30% damage reduction. Now, adding this with Renewal's Glass, 25% damage reduction while in our dust field, does allow us to survive a lot of one shot hits from enemies that are known for KOing us prime example being the Unstoppable Ogre or Sniper Vandals, etc. With this being the case, I can see this being useful for when you need to play Risky to save an ally or deal extra damage up close, although do remember it doesn't make you invincible to hits. If you have Devour available, it should make whatever strat you have in mind a safe option to pick and achieve, but only by so much. Discipline at tier 10 with Grenade Kickstart will provide a 46 second cooldown via Renewal's Grass which is fairly fast now compared to its nerfs form before. Once you apply Whispers of Shards and devour secondary effect via Bloodline Exotic Trait, you can get much further reduced cooldown to roughly a 30 to 20 seconds at best. Since Renewal's nerf has been drastically fixed over time, you can use this build without Buried Bloodline if you don't have it just yet. However, using Buried with the build allows two ways of consistently regenerating your grenade energy without the need of slowly killing enemies over time. As you'll see from the given content, the added bonus that Devour provides improves this build in multiple areas that tend to fail in most endgame content. Now, the next section covers the armor charges and additional mods. Charge Stop will grant us a plus one to armor charges kept, while Stacks and Stacks will make sure each orb of power collected will be two charges. From there, Harmonic Siphon will aid us in creating orbs, while Powerful Attraction will make it easier for us to collect them upon class ability activation. Having Momentum Transfer, Outreach and Distribution will empower our melee regen rate upon their separate interactions. And then lastly, having the Special Ammo Finder mod is a must for supporting Buried Bloodline's overall ammo economy. For weapons, I have the Create AR with Headstone and Substance, which is an ideal weapon you want to have for not only endgame overall champions, but also with the ability to create stasis crystals in the build. Although we will be relying on Buried Bloodline to enhance our grenade effect, being able to create crystals will also come in handy for ability regen and damage resistance. Whispers of Shards will boost our grenade regen rate for about 5-6 seconds, 
while whispers of limes will plant overshield per shards collected. This overall makes the following weapon a suitable option to use when you need that consistent source of survivability. Then we have Burial Bloodline, which can only be gotten from Warlord's Ruined Dungeon. A simple yet powerful assault tech that is capable of making an everlasting impact in end game without any needed extra support. With his ability to grant Devour and Grenade Regen upon activation, the following is a must have for builds that need Devour on different subclasses and on demand. I feel that this weapon is slept on by the community because of it being a sidearm, but don't let that fool you as it actually hits as hard as a hand cannon when used properly. At one point in time, Renewal's Grass used to be one of the best hunter exotics to be released that offered pure offensive and defensive opportunities when given the chance. And although Bungie have walked back on some of the nerfs they made on the exotic, it's still not as good as it used to be when first released. This however has now changed with the introduction to Buried Bloodline, and honestly this fixes two core cool issues with the status subclass overall. Firstly, using Berry Bloodline grants an easy way to heal, which is something that the Stasis subclass lacks. It's thanks to this exotic, it allows the Stasis subclass to be even more prepared for endgame when you combine the damage reduction options into the Devour buff. Not only does it make you tanky, but it also allows quick recovery in dire situations. Secondly, with the Devour effect active, it will also activate Devour's secondary effect or grant a grenade energy back per kill. You remember when I said Renewal's Graph's core issue was his low cooldown rate for his own grenade regen? Well, this is also fixes that issue straight away. It's this one effect via Berry Bloodline that not only fixes the stasis and strand subclasses missing healing feature, but the free grenade regen allows such a build to once again flourish. So what do you get of the build now? Well, you have a 25% damage reduction via your dust field grenades, even faster grenade regen upon activation, free healing that can be activated whenever, easy class ability regen for all areas, and a free O shield via shards. This is truly a peak status hunter build that I've ever seen, and with how strong dust field grenades are and the hunter super is in pretty much everything in game, you'll be sore not using this to its fullest potential. So overall, what was there not to love this build? It fixes the core issues that have been present with the class since its introduction, and now it can dominate endgame in a much more safer manner than ever before. But what do you ultimately think of this? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. But at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub out here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have players available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.